Hey guys, it's APT here. So guess what? Kanye West's new album, Yeezus, leaked today. Now, I'm a music connoisseur, so when the albums leak, you know, I like to listen to them and give you guys the opinion of whether you should buy it, download it, or just forget about it altogether. Now, this album, Yeezus, only has like 10 songs on it, kind of like what JT did back in March. So, you know, each song, you gotta listen to it, it's gotta be on point, right? So, listen to the album. The album is one of the weirder albums in his catalog. I mean, that's really saying a lot for Kanye. Uh, so he pulls from some of the previous albums that he did in terms of the sounds, like uh, he has, you know, auto-tune like he did on 808 and Heartbreak. He's got soulful samples still. Um, but it just sounds like, honestly, he got Kim pregnant and was at home bored one day and said, dang, you know what? I need to take my mind off this baby. I'm just gonna start recording some stuff and hope it sounds good. It's like there's no rhyme or reason to it. You know, like the songs don't necessarily go together, but because it's Kanye, they somehow work together. Not cohesively, but separately they work great. It's almost like Kanye's version of a mixtape, you know, where you just you record whatever, put it together on something and hope that people like it regardless of if it flows together. Anyway, here's a few examples of what I'm talking about. <laughs> Woo! This is Black Skinhead. See the drums on that shit? Uh, this is I'm a God. You know, for an uh, album with no radio singles, he got a lot of club bangers in this thing. I don't know how this isn't on radio already. This is New Slaves. You heard it's on SNL, and this is the one that he debuted on all the buildings and stuff. Very minimalistic beat, but it gets his point across very great. This was his Hold My Liquor. It has Chief Keep and um, Justin Vernon on it. So it's one of the slower songs, but just, I mean, even when the beats are kind of like slow or not necessarily the best ones per se, uh, the raps on the songs more than make up for it. I mean, Kanye's always been good with wordplay in the first place, so this album is definitely no exception. This one's called I'm In It. Um, it's a song where he's talking about trying to get with this chick and, you know, basically bang her out. But the wordplay in this song is ridiculous. Like, I don't know, just, I like listening to his wordplay in the songs, man. He's killing it. So like I said, the beats ain't necessarily the best. It's kind of slow, but it changes up also midway through you here. That's Travis Scott. This is called Blood on the Leaves. Reminds me of something off 808 and Heartbreak. It's the longest song in the album. It's like six minutes, but you don't feel it. Like the song changes up enough and it just has so much passion in it that you just want to keep listening to it, even when the chorus comes on. This one's called Guilt Trip. It's, it's not the strongest song on the album. It sounds very commercial, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, but compared to some of the other songs, it's not the best one. But even with this one, you can still jam to it. Like, I'm sure I'll be in a mood one day when I want to, like, turn this song on and in my car just jamming it. This one's called Send It Up. What? 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 Yeah, I'd rock this in the club. That's all you get. That's all you get. And this last one is called Bound To. It features Charlie Wilson and a nice little soulful sample. Falling in love, yeah, baby. Uh-huh. This is like classic Kanye, back to like, you know, the college dropout days, you know? So he still has his roots, knows where it's coming from. But you know what's funny? This is the last song, matter of fact, this is the last song of the album. This is how this album ends, I kid you not. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's how the album ends. With him saying Jerome's in the house, and then it bounces, and then it fades out. So it just abruptly ends. And me, I'm like, that's 10 songs. I want more songs. Crap, there's no more songs. And the album itself is really short. It's only 40 minutes long. What would my recommendation be for this album? It's so hard because, you know, like JT's album had 10 songs, but it was like 80 minutes long because all the songs were stretched out. Uh, with it being 40 minutes, part of me is like, just go ahead and just download it, don't buy it because, you know, it's only 10 songs. But the songs that are on there, I mean, you're gonna be putting this thing in heavy rotation. Kanye always delivers a good product that's different from anybody else's. Ah! If I had to make a decision, oh my God. Um, I would say, just on the strength of it being Kanye's name alone, 
I would say buy it. But it's it's a really it's really tough between deciding where you should buy it or download it because it's only ten songs. If I were to give it a rating, I'd give this one like a solid eight point five. This is it's only ten songs, but it's still some of the best rap you're gonna hear probably for this entire year. I'm APT. Jesus, man. Ah, it's so hard. Jesus.